finally one on the road. Hope is not a. Hope is not a. You see anything? What is that? A cord boy. What is that? Yes, Ada. <laughs> Little guy. Yeah, he's small. He's small. Oh boy, he's swallow boy. Caught boy. Yes, no. Yeah. I mean, you get a picture with him and then. Really, sir? 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 Really, not right behind you, I'll tell you that. Thanks. Sorry, but you got that. Alright guys, not so big but you gotta get it because he swallowed. As you could see, you can even see. Long spool of a line on the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of Coast M um, Fishing. Finally doing another catch and cook. Um, I have a couple of reasons for doing this. One is I caught a really nice, well it wasn't so big but a cobia. You don't really catch those very often. But they are regarded as one of the best eating fishes they are. So, Snook Master filleted it. I gave him half of it to cook for himself. You might be seeing that video if you recorded it properly. But the other reason I'm making this is I went fishing last weekend. And I want to go back this weekend. So, it's trying to sweeten up the wife a little bit. You know, almost every girl loves pasta. So, I'm going to make an Alfredo pasta topped with Parmesan encrusted Cobia filling. I mean, never made it before. But I've seen some videos about it. It looks pretty simple. And if I can make it, you can make it. So, easy wife tax for you guys. So, to start off with, I'm just going to show you the ingredients. I have some linguine pasta, some extra virgin olive oil, I have JGM garlic powder, I have JGM parsley, I have JGM paprika, JGM all purpose seasoning, some salt, some evaporated milk, most important, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, butter. Cosy fish, garlic and onion. So normally for Alfredo you'll have some cooking cream or heavy cream. Unfortunately I don't have it in the fridge right now, not something you regularly have. So I'm going to make a slight adjustment to the recipe. A little more evaporated milk, a little more cream cheese and hopefully it comes out pretty good. So we're going to be making an Alfredo pasta topped with Parmesan encrusted cobia. Okay so the first step is we're going to put the pasta to boil. I have the water boiling we're just about coming up to a boil. We're gonna cook it for nine to ten minutes. You still want it al dente, which means still a little bit firm. And while that is boiling, we're gonna be preparing the fish. We're gonna be placing it into a pan and baking it for about 15 minutes. So I'll go through the process with you guys. You know, I like my catch and cooks, I like to show you guys step by step so you can make it. Like I said, the purpose is to fold it. Have a good fish to cook, and you can get some points with your wife or your girlfriend. So let's get started. We're going to dice up the onion and the garlic while the pasta is boiling and then we're going to start the fish. Alright guys, so for two people, the linguine or fettuccine, one of them, not 100% sure. Um, this is about how much I'll be using. That's a quick measurement for you guys. For two people, when we put it into the water, I've um, been advised to add a little more just to have enough. So, 
if I don't have too much then too little, so add a little bit more. Put it into the water. To the water, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and some all purpose seasoning because I like to season my water. Not many people do, but so a little bit of all purpose seasoning and just a touch of oil. Just so the pasta doesn't stick. And we're good to go. That'll be 9 to 10 minutes. Check it from 7 to 8. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do with the fish, we're gonna take some of the olive oil and let's rub the fish with it. Just drizzle it over the fish and then massage it in. You can be generous because this is to get the uh, parmesan to stick to the fish. Make sure it's pretty coat well coated. So you could coat them, both sides, and then you could use the drain off to empty it into your pan because you only be basting the bottom of the pan as well with the olive oil. So you baste the bottom of the pan generously to avoid sticking. So the pan is ready. The fish has been well coated, all slices with the olive oil. We're gonna put it aside and next we're gonna make the parmesan cross. Okay so for these four pieces of fish, four healthy sized fillets, we're gonna use about half a cup of the parmesan. This is our full cup measurement. So that's about half. Put it into the bowl. Gonna add some paprika to it. Not too much, enough. All the fish will get some of it. Some garlic powder. Remember, I only use JGM product seasoning. Been using it for a long time. Very happy with it. Not gonna change, and some parsley as well. Then some salt. Not too much salt because Parmesan is a kind of a salty thing already. It's a quick mix. You could season it more liberally if you want. You can add probably a little bit of cayenne. Spice it up a little bit. Okay, so basically the next step is to take the fish, coat it in the parmesan, and let's place it in the pan. Just give it a quick flip into the oil again. Put it into the parmesan. Coat both sides generously. The better thing to use is freshly grated Parmesan cheese, but it's not something we have readily available in the average kitchen, so let's try and get it done like this for you guys. This one. So master cut some of these fillets a little thicker than the others, so you'll see how that cook time varies. I guess it would like for like 15 minutes. Remaining parmesan, you just sprinkle it all over. Why? My wife has never had this type of fish. She's very excited to try it. Hopefully it comes out good. And that's it for the fish preparation. I'm gonna stick this in the oven for like 15 minutes and check it. And we we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna stick it in and get back to the pasta making. Okay guys, to finish the pasta, the pasta has been boiled for 9 to 10 minutes, it's been strained. In a pot, we're going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. It's on medium heat. Also to the pot, we're going to add about 2 tablespoons of butter. Normally this would be less, but how I don't have the whipping cream, I'm just increasing the other ingredients. 
to make it a little more creamy. So as the butter is melting down into the oil, we're going to add the diced onion. That's one small onion diced and three small cloves of garlic. I grated it. So we're going to put that in. This is one of the best parts of cooking when you put butter and gar butter, garlic and onion in a pot and saute it. The smell is fantastic. So just gonna turn it constantly, just until it gets golden. So next up we're gonna add about one third cup of evaporated milk to this. I already added the cream cheese into it. It's going to turn the heat down a little bit because it's bubbling a little too much. Next up we're going to add the Parmesan cheese. This is just about a little more than half of a cup. This is what makes your Alfredo. Now we're not putting any salt here because um, like I said Parmesan is a salty meal already. If you want to add salt after, you can feel free to go ahead and do that. Also, if you want to increase the spice a bit, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne to this. Very quickly. Just a little bit of JGM cayenne, because my wife likes her spice. Give it a quick turn. And then to this, we're just going to throw in the pasta which has been cooked al dente. Let's give it a quick base in the sauce. Just want to make sure all the pasta gets a little bit of coating. I'm going to add a little bit more milk to it. I'm just going to turn off the heat. The only thing I missed in this guys was the heavy cream. It would have been a little bit creamier. But this should do fine. Smelling absolutely fantastic. And there you have your quick shortcut Alfredo pasta. That was pretty easy, you know? If I can make it, you can make it. Okay, that's gonna take the fish out of the oven and plate up a plate for you guys and show you how it looks. Just about 15 minutes have been gone. Okay, so that's gonna take out the fish. Wow, it looks absolutely beautiful. Take a look at it guys, Parmesan encrusted cobia. Now let's go plate up and give the wife a taste. Finished pasta. Finished fish, looks delicious. Now let's plate it up. Now I'm not the best plater guy, so we're gonna try. Your wife has to get the best piece of fish, of course. Alright guys, just to finish it off, I'm going to dust some parsley over it, give it that restaurant look. Some the sides of the plate. Voila! Are you in Ruby Tuesday or are you in Chef de Course? Now that looks fantastic guys, if the wife do Lego fishing after that, boy! She's still a good wife, we're going to, but I'll try a thing. All right guys, so the finished product, Alfredo pasta with Parmesan encrusted cobia filet. It looks fantastic. This plate is for the wife. I tried my best to plate it out as best as possible. 
So hopefully she enjoys it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna taste a piece of it from the pan. So I'll set this right here. It's not the best kitchen etiquette, but it's okay. Wow. Take a look at that meat, guys. I'll take a look at that meat. Perfectly white. Wow. I'm not joking. This thing tastes real good. Fish, real moist, real flavorful with Parmesan. And the Parmesan, like it just trapped all the moisture in it. Try this recipe. You will not be disappointed. And like I said, if you never cooked before, it's not a very good cook. Watch the video and try it. It's real easy. It can't get easier than this. Follow the steps. If you want to get a full recipe of the Alfredo pasta, you can check out my wife's website, jennagdhabitt.com. The Parmesan encrusted fish might be there soon. I'll teach her, you know. So, guys, try this recipe. Thanks for watching this episode of Coast and Fishing. I try to do more catch and cooks, but it is the hardest videos for me to do. One mistake, any video is gone. But I had a little bit of help today from a wonderful camera woman, my wife, of course. So it was a little better in terms of angles and stuff. Let me know what you guys thought. And let me know what kind of fish you want me to cook next in a catch and cook. I'll try to do a lot more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep fishing. Keep cooking. Fish on. Hey guys, welcome to the episode of Pools and Fishing.